I've been pretty much right about this whole Bitcoin rally in the last two weeks. I told you guys that we were going to move up here to a 25,000 US dollar, but I am going to potentially increase my target and that's all because of this indicator. So if you want to know why, then make sure to watch this video all the way through the end. And of course, make sure to sit down, relax and let's get into this video. All right, so throughout the last few weeks, I told you guys here that I think that Bitcoin is going to move to about 25,000 US dollars. And we are currently beautifully, beautifully testing here this target. I've warned you guys here, we're probably going to find resistance. This is where we found previously here support on this week, uh, about here back in May. And so I told you guys here, we are probably going to come around this level we're going to retest it maybe we're going to get a rejection from it maybe not but this indicator that i'm right now watching um, i look at it today and i was absolutely absolutely shocked what i just saw now the bitcoin bitmax funding rate is pretty much one of my favorite indicators i've talked about it here throughout my career here on youtube and it is an amazing indicator basically whenever the funding rate here is negative on funding uh, on bitmax that's generally a very good indication that bitcoin is about to bottom out and if the funding rate is positive as you can see here throughout history for instance back here in 2021 very large cluster of positive funding rate and then we saw the price here topping out and the same thing happened the opposite way once we saw here negative funding rate we saw the bitcoin price here beautifully bottoming out so you know that's just a very quick example of what this indicator does but now but it gets even better because throughout the beer markets whenever the bitmax funding rate trades down that's generally a very good indication that the bitcoin price is about to bottom out you can actually beautifully see it here back in march of 2021 so what you can see here is after we had this big march crash everybody was shorting everybody was bearish you know it's gonna go to zero or whatever people were talking about i actually bought a bunch of bitcoin there around five thousand US dollar i was extremely bullish and this is one of the reasons why my channel actually blow up because everything moves to the upside i pretty much called it here back in 2021 uh i mean in 2020 so what you can actually see here is that the funding rate here in BitMEX funding was uh, here, as you can see, the BitMEX funding rate was extremely negative. People were shorting a lot on BitMEX. And what you can see is that there was this very clear downtrend. And eventually here we had this large move to the upside. This was about a 40% move here. And yeah, you can see here about a 40% move. And so quite insane. Now what happened is people were again were long. You know, you can see the BitMEX funding rate turned positive. People thinking, oh, this is, you know, Bitcoin is going to go to 20K. Well, eventually it still came down. But then you can see the same thing here repeating. You can see people going short around this level and then the BitMEX funding rate trading down. And then boom, we had this massive rally to the upside. And again, the same thing happened here as well in 2019 throughout the SPA market. You can see here people were shorting and then eventually the funding rate was trending downwards. And then eventually we had this short squeeze here to the upside. And this eventually resulted in this large Bitcoin rally to the upside. Now, if I go, if I go back to what's currently happening, well, as you can see, we have negative funding rate here for the last few months. Basically, this entire year, we have seen negative funding rate. But what's very interesting is that we are finally now seeing the funding rate trade here to the downside. And this is exactly what we want to see. In a bear market, what we want to see is the funding rate slowly trending downwards over multiple months to the, to the upside here and crouching the positive funding rate. And eventually, this is going to be an indication that we are likely going to be looking at an explosive breakout here to the upside. And so... Throughout history, this has always happened. Whenever we see the funding rate slowly encroaching here towards the positive side, that eventually results in a massive breakout to the upside. And so I think that for now, we can assume that, well, I think the 80,000 US dollar is likely going to be the bottom. Now, we can still get a rejection from this 25,000 US dollar. You know, again, here back in, uh, if I go back here in 2019, you can see here we still came back. We spooked here the lower level. And we eventually set a double bottom. We came back down a few times before eventually breaking here to the upside. And again, the same thing can happen. We can certainly spook here the bulls a second time, set some kind of a large double bottom pattern, something like this, and then go back to the upside. Um, but what we're very clearly seeing here is that if this trend is going to go to which I think it likely is going to do, um, you can basically be preparing yourself for a massive massive short squeeze to the upside and that is likely going to ignite here the next bull run that we are you know likely going to see here maybe around the end of this year i've told you guys i think the fundamental value of bitcoin is around forty thousand US dollar very similar to the um 2000 um 2020 and 2019 bear market we had here a fundamental value of around eight thousand US dollars which you can see here 
is that we, I think we, you know, the fundamental value was around 8,000, maybe even 10,000 US dollar. We came back very often traded around that level until eventually the halving happened. And that's when we went here and had this massive rally to the upside. I think very similar to what happened in the last bear market. We're gonna come back up here, probably gonna trade a little bit above it. But generally speaking, we're gonna trade sideways around this level until the next halving. And then we're gonna pop back up towards the new autumn high. So this big pop here from about 25,000 US dollar where we are right now to about 40,000 US dollar. This funding rate trending downwards is likely going to be the indication here that we have bottomed out in this bear market and we are eventually going to move here back to the upside. So what is going to be our target here? Well, I think 50,000 US dollar is probably going to be a very good target. I think we're gonna overshoot our 40,000 US dollar level very similar to how we overshot the $8,000 level back here in 2019. And so we're probably gonna have a massive rally here throughout the end of this year. And then, you know, once we see the funding rate here spiking positive, it's likely going to be the indication that Bitcoin has bottomed, uh, I mean, topped out. Um, here you can see the same thing in 2019. Got this massive spike here in funding rates. Eventually we bottomed, uh, we topped out here at 40,000 US dollar. And then eventually still we came back downwards and we trained around the 8,000 US dollar level until eventually the halving happened. And that's when we boomed back to the upside. So that's uh, my prediction here in terms of the funding rate. Not looking too bad. I think, um, yeah, overall, there's a very, very strong case here to be made for the bulls. Now let's go here over to the next chart. And you may be wondering, why am I looking here at the Bollinger Bands? Are you going to talk about Bollinger Bands? Well, no, this is actually going to be an update I'm going to be doing on Cycle Strategy. And Cycle Strategy is actually my private indicator. If you actually want to purchase this indicator, there's a link to that in the description. There's a website where you can check out exactly what I'm offering. But basically it takes into account here about four years of my trading experience. And this is going to be a completely new indicator. Now I can't go into detail what this indicator exactly is, but it took some time here to actually get it programmed into the Cycle Strategy indicator. And I'm so happy to finally release it here. But this indicator is absolutely, absolutely magical here for scalping, for long-term trades, it doesn't matter. What you can see actually here, what you got to look at is the second tick bands here, the green and the red one. And whenever the Bitcoin price comes to these bands, it pretty much always tops out. I mean, I don't know exactly why it does it, but I've observed this here for the last two years and it just keeps and keeps doing it. And so I'm happy to finally release this here. But whenever we get here to the red band, at least in the short term or maybe even in the long term, you see the Bitcoin price top out. And this indicator is so extremely handy for trading on leverage. I've made so much profit using this, just this very simple indicator. And I'm going to be adding it, it finally here to Cycle Strategy. I know a lot of you guys have asked me on Telegram when is the next update going to hit, but here it finally is. But um, yeah, let's hear about the Cycle Strategy update that's soon going to be pushed. Um, let's go here very quickly to Twitter. And let's look at what I've been post I've talked about recently. Oh, well, the first one is here from Fearpack, which is a fan. And he talked here about the hash ribbons indicator. And he said, if you change the settings here to 20, we actually have a buy signal on the hash ribbons indicator. Now, the thing is, Fearpack, I do very much appreciate the fact that you're sending me this tweet. I don't really like changing the settings of the hash ribbons indicator. I've done it on the past, but I just like to keep them. Um, well, I just like to keep them on the standard settings. If I go and look here at the hash ribbons, um, this is a very famous indicator, but basically when the hash ribbons cross bullies and you get a buy signal, that's as well a very strong indication that the Bitcoin price is about to rally to the upside. But I'm not gonna talk about it today in this video. I mean, we are getting very close to it potentially crossing bullies here again, but I'm gonna wait here for the hash ribbons to give a buy signal. I can't predict when it is going to happen, but when it crosses again, Yes, I do think that the Bitcoin price has potentially bottomed out. Well, I think it's going to be very, very likely Bitcoin has bottomed out. And so I do appreciate it, but I personally don't really like changing the settings. I think just be a little bit patient and eventually you are going to see a bullish cross on the hash ribbons. Um, now, the next thing here is, wow, the Bank of England after Jordan's Bonson. Uh, after Boris Johnson, should inflation target be raised? Now, this is a very interesting thing. We have so much inflation right now, and we're probably going to go through here a longer period of extreme inflation. And what's actually very interesting is that central banks, or at least the Bank of England, there's some rumors going around that they're going to be changing their inflation target from 2% to 4%. So yeah, if you can't get inflation under control, just raise your inflation target. It's bound to happen. I'm gonna tell you right now, 
the inflation target of the Fed, Bank of England, European Central Bank, is going to be raised from 2% to 4%. Well, it's going to be an extremely shit show and, you know, Bitcoin is going to continue to rally and rally because of this. But if the central banks are going to increase their inflation targets from 2 to 4% or from 2 to 3%, doesn't even matter. Even if it's just half a percent, you're going to see a massive rally on Bitcoin. And so this is a still a little bit early. There's, you know, generally some rumors here going about. You can read the article if you go into my Twitter page. But if they're going to change the inflation target, oh boy. Um, yeah, we're about to get potentially rich. The whole system is going to go to crap. Um, trust me, if they're, you know, if they're not going to be able to get inflation under control and they're going to look at other ways in order to kind of, well, I don't really know what are really, t I don't even know what I can call it. I, I guess just justifying their whole crappy, you know, monetary policy. It's going to ruin our society, but hey, at least you're going to get rich because Bitcoin is likely going to pump from, uh, pump from that. Uh, yeah, here is the next thing as well talking about. Uh, Fed Daily says cooling of the housing markets puts young families in a better position to buy homes. And then you look at the housing index in the United States and you can see how much the Fed has printed up this bubble. And you wonder, yeah, surely the housing market is going to go down here. It has been going up here for the last 40 years. Surely the Federal Reserve is going to bring, bring down housing prices. Yeah, not really. Housing prices are continue to going to go inflate and inflate. Stocks as well are going to continue to rise. Wealth inequality is continue to, is, is going to continue to widen. Inflation is going to continue to increase. Wages are probably not going to go up. The only way to protect yourself is Bitcoin. Um, I don't really listen to what the Fed is saying anymore. They're making so much statements. I never trusted the Fed here. You know, when they increased the interest rates, I was just calling them bluff. Well, eventually they did end up to raising it a little bit. It did pretty much completely collapse the Bitcoin market, but you know, I'm sure Bitcoin is going to come back here to 40k back at the end of the year. I never believed the Fed. I think they're all full of, well, crap, basically. And so <sighs> they're now saying that they're going to cool down the housing market. But even if they're going to do it here for a short period, the whole housing market, the whole economy is a Ponzi scheme. It's only going to be for a short period just so they can get maybe some 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 voters or something to vote back here on Biden. But eventually once Biden is back in office, they're just going to reverse their policy again, like they've always done here in the past. And so, yeah, that's the end of the video. I I mean, uh, you know, Bitcoin is probably going to be looking here to bottom out. I mean, things are looking very good here. Funding rates are nicely going up. Um, hash ribbons are also crossing. I'm going to talk about that maybe in the next video. But what is going to be my target? Well, 40,000 US dollars is going to be my end of the year target. I think somewhere around the end of the year. Uh, again, no financial advice. I, you know, Of course, I can't predict the markets. I don't know what the Fed is going to do. But that's just my personal opinion, just looking at the data that I'm seeing right now. Uh, in the short term, we can still come back down. Again, I've, I've drawn here this little bit of a warning here. 25,000 US dollars is going to be uh, that a very important resistance level. If we break it, then um, well, I think we're probably going to go here to the next important level, which is going to be right over here to a thousand US dollar where we have found the support throughout the last few, uh, throughout the last bear market and this kind of little bear market here back in 2021. So that's going to be a very important level. But for now, 25,000 US dollar, I'm not going to bet here on potentially Bitcoin going to go further. I'm not looking here to long Bitcoin around this level, not looking too short either. Just kind of waiting here. But I think if we do come down, it's going to be a very nice buy opportunity. And I think slowly charts are turning into the favor of this being the Bitcoin bear market bottom. So with that, I want to end this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.